Hi everybody, Frank Hackett here from Retro Barbers. I'm back to you again with another tutorial this week. And this time I'm going to be looking at a fade. So the fade haircut is one of the most difficult haircuts in, in Jen's hair to do. So there's two different ways that I approach this haircut. You have two different techniques. Number one, your des descending technique. And the other technique then is a technique where you put in a baseline, a more aggressive baseline, and you fade that out. So today's technique, we're going to go for the descending technique. And I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. So let's get started. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do a fade on a Jen's haircut. And we're actually going to keep the fade quite low. So we're going to work with a descending technique and we're going to start with a number four attachment on my wall super taper. So I'm going to start just around the temple area or slightly above. I'm going to take away all this area and create a nice blank canvas. So what we're looking to do is create a nice graduation just above the temple area so we can blend in to the hair just above the ridge here. So before we do the, the haircut, we obviously have a consultation. We do, um, we assess the head shape. So the things we got to take into consideration before we start. So obviously that doesn't come into play here, but so I'm going to decide far from what we're going to do. So we're going to go in with the four bed in here. I'm going to start around the temple area. Keep your index finger again on the number four. Start at the front and I like to work from temple to temple. Just comb it up. And bring it down so as i come to the temple area here i'm just going to fade off the head slowly we're not going to flick out too much this builds weight so if i flick out this way that builds weight too much there and also if i shave up and stop that also builds weight so a lot of people when they're doing cuts at home or in the salon what they do is they get reluctant to take the clippers too far above the temples so try not to be too afraid to bring the clippers up too high just just trust your technique and follow through and come down. We went to the next section, shave up and come down. Keep an eye on what way the hair is growing always as well. So it's really important to keep an eye on the hair growth patterns. So we have to make sure that we're going against the grain of the hair all the time. So we switch over now to the number three. So again, keep your finger on. And what I'm going to do here is we're just going to come in underneath where my four blade finished. So this will allow a nice graduation. So there's a natural graduation from the three to the four. Now we go in with the number two and we're descending. So this technique is a descending technique. We're working down through the attachments and we're graduating in a reverse motion. So we're working lower and lower and it's getting a little bit shorter and shorter. And we drop down to the one and a half blade. So we put on your one and a half attachments and you pull back your lever here. So when you pull back this lever, that one becomes now, now becomes a one and a half. So that's roughly about four and a half millimeters. So we go back in with the, the clippers and again, we're gonna start in the temple area and we just fade up into the number two. So normally what I do is, um, when I start going below a number two attachment, I, when I go for the one and a half, it just drops in half. So we go one and a half, one and a half, and gradually work your way down. So this one and a half is just fading nice and naturally up into the previous attachment. So it gives a nice graduation with no lines. And up that through the back area. Let's turn this around a little bit. You see the back. In with one and a half. And a slight flicking movement here. So we're flicking the machine out just a small bit. Not too much. Again, obviously we don't want to build too much weight. Now we go back to the one. So brought my, my lever on the side forward. Now we're on a one attachment. Back around to the sides, round the ears. They again bend the ears around and using the corner, the inside corner of the clippers, and always be aware of where the other side of the clippers is because we don't want to take anything from up here. Okay, so we've done the number one, so now we drop down to the half attachment, which is, you get this by pulling your lever back on your clippers. So the blades are now open. So we go in again on the temple area, and using this flicking movement, staying quite low, and just fading it off the head. Same to the back area here. So we're roughly going about maybe a quarter inch over the year. This is probably, if you haven't done a lot of fading, this is probably one of the easier ways of doing it. It's a nice way to get started with it. Um, it was up to a full zero. And this is probably gonna finish up maybe like a low fade. So it's a nice haircut, nice bit of weight, nice bit of movement still along here. We're gonna go back in with our clippers and we're gonna use clipper over comb on the area just above the fade. So I'm gonna use my Andis uh, clipper comb and I'm gonna use my wall super taper. And I have the one guard on it, 
and just gradually work it up through this area here. Just to, just to keep it nice and square on the sides. I want to keep that weight there, but I just want to soften it out a little bit. So very, very similar to use to doing scissors over comb. I've just replaced it with my clippers. So now we move into the top area here. So we're going to connect the crown into the back area. So I've created a radial section across the top from ear to ear. And then I'll just section it down through the center. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see there, but I have my guideline from my previously cut hair here. And I'm just taking the section out 90 degrees straight out from the head. And we just take, divide the section in half. And we just move across the back area here just to connect in the crown. So again, just straight out from the head. So try and stand parallel to your sections. I'm just standing to the side so I'm not going to block you, but just to keep your sections nice. So now we use the guideline off our back section here to move into the sides. So I have a, a guideline for my previous section from the crown area, and I also have a guideline for my clipper work underneath. So we're just going to work our way forward here towards the temple area. Nice small section. So the width of your sections really should be about a quarter inch. Anything bigger than that, generally, you lose your guideline. Um, and it's a little bit hard to see where you're going. So if you do lose the guideline, just work back a couple of sections over what you've cut and you should be able to find it. I'm just going to over direct a little bit towards the front here because the fringe is coming into play a little bit. So just so we can protect it. So now we move into the top section here and I've connected the sides in. And by connecting both sides in like that, we just cut straight across the top. Nice clean sections moving forward. So it's probably going to be maybe six or seven sections working forward here. And then for the last couple of sections, then we're going to over direct just to protect that little bit of length. So the fringe is going to be worn a bit long, casual. So almost kind of like a long crop. It can be worn straight down, it can be worn to the side. It's actually a pretty uh, versatile haircut. So you can wear lots of different ways. So we're just going to start over directing a small bit and just kind of keep going, working towards the fringe, over directing it back towards yourself. Okay, so with the top done, over directed towards the front. Now work onto the fringe area, and I'm just going to take the fringe just about level with the eyebrows. So I'm just going to point cut just to keep a nice choppy finish so it's not too straight looking. It's a nice casual long crop on the front. Just check it, always work in the center and work out, and then obviously check your mirror then as you're going along. Now we're just going to dry it off and add a bit of product and a few finishing touches. So the last thing we got to do is just add a little bit more texture to the hair. So there's a few different ways you can do this. We can point cut or we can use my uh, texturizing scissors or your thinning scissors to lighten it off a little bit and then to create a little bit more movement. So I don't want to go too heavy and I don't want to go too deep on it. So the hair is quite thick still at the moment. So I'm going to use my, uh, my texturizing scissors or your thinning scissors. And the way I like to use it is I slide the scissors in under the hair just in under the hair like so, and just take small cuts. So it's almost like a quarter cut. So I'm not cutting fully down on the root. So it's just the middle ends and ends. So I'm just going very, very lightly through it. So this really isn't to, to take the, the weight out of the hair. It's really just to create a little bit more movement. Again, using your texturizing scissors, we can use a little bit of scissors over comb just to refine any areas or any blemishes that might not be fully blended. The back area, again, keeping that square look. So it's good to refine the haircut at the end. There's always going to be a few finishing touches. If you wanted to go a little bit shorter with your outliner or your filer, you could. I'm just going to leave it at the zero for now. On another video, I'm going to go for a skims off. I'm just going to use a little bit of hairspray just to create a little bit of volume here on top. So this is Schwarzkopf, um, Schwarzkopf Silhouette. And it's the Stronghold. So just a little bit, we don't want to overload it. And just pick up a few pieces and I'll just slide it like so. So that's the end of the, today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be back to you later in the week with more videos. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.